Okay, so in this step, what we're now going to do is we're going to create a hierarchy. So we're going to make all of these planets belong to the sun so that whenever we move the sun, everything else will go with it. And it'll also be set up perfectly for animation when we get to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Windows and Outliner. And what the Outliner is, is it's a little window that lists everything in your scene. So you can see all the geometry we've cre created so far is listed. If you've forgotten to name anything, name it now. Uh, but there you can see, there's my sun, there's the planets, etc. And what I need to do is make this planet, so the first planet, belong to the sun. So again, there are multiple ways of doing this. The first way is by using the middle mouse button, that one. And I'm going to click and drag with that, the planet, onto the sun, and then let go. And you can see a little plus symbol appears, and when I click on that, you can see that there is now a relationship there, the planet belongs to the sun. So whenever I now click on the sun, it also selects the planet, which is very useful. Okay, I'm now going to parent planet 1 to the sun. So I'm going to click on it. So I'm just showing you a different way of doing it now. And now I'm going to control click, no, shift click, sorry, the sun. And now I'm going to press P on the keyboard. And P is the keyboard shortcut for parent. And you can see that now planet and planet 1 both belong to um, the sun. And now what I want you to do is parent all the planets to the sun and then parent the ring to the planet that that belongs to and the moon to the planet that that belongs to so that your hierarchy is set up so that it looks like mine will in a second. Okay, so when you're finished, this here is what your hierarchy should look like. And again, like I said, whenever you now select your sun, it should select everything else which makes moving this solar system as a whole so much easier. And the reason that happens is through something called inheritance. And what that means is that the child object will always do what um, the parent object does in relation to the parent object. So you don't need to follow this, but I'll show you what I mean. So if I was to scale the sun, you'll see that all the planets scale too. But they don't just scale on the spot they actually scale in relation to the sun, so the gap, the distance between the planets is shrinking as well. So it's almost like they're one object, which is really useful. The same happens um, if you rotate. You can see that they all rotate, but they're rotating around the parent object, so they're rotating around the sun. And the same happens with uh, moving as well, which is going to be useful for when we move those planets next.